So this is how, now the next thing we're going to do is going to learn about Go commands, Go Git, and getting the training code from GitHub, and you're going to see uh, how uh, namespacing works, and, and also you're going to see um, what? Namespacing and package management in Go. And first thing I just want to point out is how particular computers are. Several of you had an error that, hey, it wasn't closed, you know, something, I don't know what the error was, but it was like, no, there was no, look at the difference. What's different between these lines? That last one, right? So somehow a funky one got in there. It needs the not funky one. So I just copy and paste it. So now that should be good for everybody. I fixed that on a few machines. All right, so now we're going to do go command. So we go to golang, golang.org. And we go to documents, and then at documents we scroll down to uh, command, uh, command uh, documentation right here. And here are the different commands for Go. And so uh, I'm going to go to the Go command, and the Go command. All right, these are the different Go commands. Okay. So if we run Go version, it'll tell us the version of Go. And this is a quick way to tell if you have Go installed. Go version, and it tells me the version. Okay, so that's a one Go command. Another Go command is Go E and V. And we've been doing that to see the Go environment variables. Go E and V, there's the Go environment variables. Another Go command, the next one we're going to learn is Go Git. Go Git is going to take somebody's code repo. So I'm going to do Go Git. And then put in a code repo, and all the code that we'll be using or that you can learn about is under Golang training. And, uh, and here's a training with a whole bunch of code. And this corresponds to my Udemy course. Uh, so I'll just do this, Udemy, Todd McLeod. And learn to code. And so here's this course, and you can watch this course, $19. Uh, 50, 46% off. Wow, what a bargain. And, um, you know, this is where I explain everything. It's about 21 hours long. 21 hours. It's only 169 lectures. That's awesome. And uh, all the code at this repo corresponds to that. So the repo is right here. And so I'm going to copy this URL right up to the HTTP stuff. So copy that. And just watch at this point. In a second, you can do it. And I'm going to do go get that URL. And when I execute that, that is going to pull the code into my workspace. So just to show you how this works, I'm going to go get somebody else's package. And we saw a package for, I don't know, Shopify. Maybe I wanted the Shopify package. I would grab all of this right here, right there. I'd get that URL. And I would come down and I would put that in. Since I already have my code, I'm not going to go get it again. And just let me show you what happens when you go get somebody's stuff. So I go to Documents, go to my workspace, go to Source, go to GitHub. And now I'm just going to bring this over. Or, yeah, I'll do it like this. Well, I want, to, I want you to see that. So I'll bring it up. And now I'm going to bring this one down. All right, cool. And I'll expand that a little bit. All right, so now when I say go get this, you're going to see github.com, and you're going to see a folder Shopify appear right here. Are you ready? Go get it. The Shopify folder appeared, and there's that code. That is now a package I could use in any of my programs. Right, so when I import code in my program, it, I just say bring that in, and so that code's there. I don't want that package, so I'm going to remove it now. It's still finishing out getting it, so when it's all done, it'll tell me. You can see it's still working up here, and it'll go back to the normal prompt when it's done. There we go. So now I, I'm just going to remove that, and uh, I'll just do it here. So I don't want Shopify's code. Command delete, deletes it on my Mac. So that's uh, going and getting a code, or going and getting a package. And so that's uh, go commands, go get, and to get the training from GitHub, the one that we put in is this one. Uh, 
control C, command C, and uh, I'm going to do uh, this. So the resources that I've covered in here, one of them is uh, the go commands, which are right here. And, uh, and that became a link. And then I need to do go get, go get that. And so there's the go at the terminal, run that command, at terminal, run that command. And uh, that should go get all of the code in my course. You might need to change the case on these things, but maybe not. So everybody, go get the code and bring it down to your computer and then go look in your Go workspace and the source folder and GitHub and goes to 11 and see that it brought all the code down.